It's really no surprise that elements of the Trump family are losing it right now. That while in public most of the time, they're trying to portray this image of confidence that the legal issues they're facing, the financial issues, the political issues aren't hurting them. But every once in a while, they let it slip that they are in total panic mode and it's fundamentally tearing them apart. And that's exactly what happened just a couple days ago with Trump Jr., who posted yet another one of his videos where he's essentially having a seizure in his living room, whether it's substance aided, whether it's related to the substances that a lot of people suggest that he sometimes takes or not, is not necessarily clear. It might be, but I definitely think a part of it has to do with panic. And so I looked when he posted the video, and then I looked what happened just an hour before that, which was the following announcement from major news. I want to play you that announcement and then Trump Jr. happens. Um, Gloria, let's look specifically at some of these congressmen. For instance, Congressman Scott Perry. What, mm -hmm. is, what unique information does he have, does the committee think? Well, according to what the committee is saying here, uh, the committee says, and we know from our own reporting, that he was involved in efforts to uh, install a new attorney general, Jeffrey Clark. Um, I'm sorry, install him as acting attorney general. And that he, you know, was uh, very involved in trying to figure out ways to overturn the election, was involved in... Um, uh, allegations that the voting machines were crooked and uh, perhaps have been corrupted by China, I believe. Um, so he's one of the people they're saying, you know, you were really involved in trying to uh, uh, overturn the election and put Donald Trump back in office. He's one of those. I want to add one thing, though, here about one of the people I actually think <laughs> might be willing to testify uh, is Mo Brooks. He's the gentleman who spoke at the rally who said, you know, we're going to start taking down names and kicking ass. And then Donald Trump did not endorse him um, in his uh, reelection race. And he's already gone public and said that the president had spoken with him. And the quote was had asked him to work to, quote, rescind the election of 2020. He has already said that publicly. Um, if he's already said it publicly, why not say it to the committee? Yeah. Gloria, I wonder, though, how that would impact the Alabama Senate race if he's now a Republican in Alabama competing or, or working right. with the, uh, the January 6th committee. Right. It, it, I'm saying it wouldn't it wouldn't help him, but he's already said it. And he's clearly so angry at Donald Trump. And mm -hmm. uh, maybe he figures he's, uh, you know, uh, the outcome is is already there. So maybe he'll do it anyway. I don't know. I just think it's kind of interesting that he's somebody's already publicly said Donald Trump asked me to to work on his behalf to change the election result. I mean, he's already done it. Well, guys, this week, Joe Biden said he's going to make tackling inflation one of his biggest priorities, if not his biggest priority. But in the same week, while oil and gas prices hit a record high, the Biden administration's cancel enormous oil and gas leases in Alaska and in the Gulf of Mexico, the places where we produce our energy. So they're not trying to ease the pain. Remember, they're still negotiating with Iran, the world's leading state sponsor in terror for energy prices. So record high gas prices be damned. If you have a hard time getting to work, if you're paying more at the shelves because obviously the cost of transportation is going through the roof uh, and that's being passed on to you, the consumer, who cares? It doesn't matter. They have a green initiative they're going to spend. So rather than letting American energy companies make the money, create jobs, lower those prices, and by the way, do it in a more environmentally friendly than uh, way, then certainly Iran's going to do it, or Russia's going to do it, or Venezuela's going to do it, because I promise you, they couldn't care less about the environment. Uh, we're going to make sure they're okay while we crush you. So the Biden administration cancels oil and gas leases and sales in Alaska and the Gulf of Mexico, okay, while our prices are going through the roof. Guys, is it on purpose at this point? Are they literally trying to destroy our country? I'm watching the environmentalists. It's a huge win for a climate policy. Uh, progressive environmental groups praise this 
thing because Americans need to accept high gas prices and, and or get an electric car. Oh, yeah, because California is already talking about rolling blackouts. They've been dealing with that for the last couple of summers. So let's add another, I don't know, 20 million electric cars that need to be charged every day. That's going to work, guys. That's going to handle it. Elon Musk, who has the most to benefit from, obviously, the electric car uh, craze, which I think could be great in the future when we're ready. Even he says... Hey guys, like we gotta do this oil and gas thing. So remember, guys, you can't afford five, six dollar gas, but you can go afford a sixty-five thousand dollar electric vehicle. By the way, let's not talk about where you get the lithium ion batteries from, you know, these mines in China and elsewhere, all over the third world, owned by China, controlled by China in the vast majority of cases, right? Zero environmental protections. Let's not kid ourselves where these things are coming from. But there's not enough rare earth minerals in the world to fuel these sorts of things anyway. So gas prices reach a record high and the Biden administration's response is to cancel key oil and gas leases in Alaska and the Gulf of Mexico. The administration, it's like they're determined to destroy America, to make us a third world country. They don't care about you. And remember, this isn't Joe Biden. This is Democrat policy. They've been saying it forever. Don't let them get away with it. Call them out on it because enough is enough. Okay, of course they canceled it because they haven't done anything good for our country in a long, long time. And they won't if we keep pretending that they're doing the right thing. Okay. Thanks everyone who voted for Biden. Great job, guys. Phenomenal job. Look, guys, that's no coincidence. This was just as this news was breaking that all of these top people who have tons of dirt on Trump senior, but also maybe on the rest of the family, if only indirectly, are getting hauled before committees. And at least some of them have motive for revenge. I don't need to go too much into detail. We've talked about that in other videos. But the point is, Trump Jr. saw that, whether that recording or the news related to it, and then instantly was like, oh God, I gotta say something Something to make Joe Biden look bad. I have to do anything, something, anything to take the attention off the fact that my family is in massive criminal trouble right now related to J6 stuff. And I'm going to go on this rant. And it was absolutely pathetic, guys. I just really have three things to say. Again, it's disturbing to watch this. He needs help. I don't know for what exactly. That's for a medical professional to determine. But how no one in his life has told him he needs help and he needs to stop recording himself when he's in that state is beyond me. It's really sad. Two, he can't even do it without a script. If you watch me and other top political commentators, we do this every day with no script. He's clearly reading there, and even still, he's struggling to get his point across, and he can't stay calm. It's extremely hard to be that manic, that seizure-driven panicked, if you're reading. It shows just how much of a mess he's in. And finally, he's really doing a lame impersonation of his dad. I don't like Donald Trump, but one thing you can say about Trump is he he has this certain charisma when he's on camera and everyone tries to copy him and no one can. Trump Jr. tries to here and he comes off looking worse. If you want proof the Trump family is desperate to take the attention off them and throw it on anybody else, this is it.